I'm just going to let you know that I'm, I'm going tonight. Um, we just, support yeah. you and we love you. I love you all. That yeah. means you all got to have fun and find love. Because just because I haven't, doesn't mean you not can. So. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know this pizza girl, Kyvy, coming at you for a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Love Island All-Stars. Basically episode 3. So I missed the first two episodes, but I wasn't really missing much. But I'm here for this third episode review. Um, obviously the cast lineup wasn't looking too well. We only have Kaz you know, and Liberty from season seven and Toby really in the lineup. Um, if you have watched Love Island games, then Toby and Georgia being paired up together by the public, you know, kind of makes sense. And they seem like they're hitting it off. They're trying to pick up, pick back up where they left off in Love Island games. And yeah, you know, Toby calling himself a lover boy in episode three. Yeah, it seems like, you know, they're they're trying to continue that relationship. Um, is it Love Island or X's Island? Because we had Jake and Liberty being paired up as well. And in today's episode, Jake, Jake up and Lee. But, you know, hearing the press about it and then seeing what happened in the episode is a bit different. Like, you really thought, like, okay, like, he had something wrong. You know, he didn't really like being with Liberty. But I guess he just figured out that, you know, his time on Love Island is done. Like, it's over with. Like, I think everybody was just saying, like, you know, even if you're paired up with Liberty, you don't have to stay in a couple. Like, once there's another recoupling, whatever, if somebody comes in, da 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 you can pair up with them. But I guess... You know, since nobody really was peaking interest into Jake and, you know, you know, I feel like he just feel like it wasn't, this wasn't the place that he's going to find his, you know, person. So he upped and left and, you know, Liberty thought it was her fault, but, you know, he pulled her aside, had a little one-on-one -on -one conversation and he just like, it's not his time. So in this episode, we're back again with this Molly and Callum situation. You know, Molly and Callum from season six, the winter season of Love Island. They recently broke up and then they got on the show together, not knowingly. And basically, Molly said after they broke up, he was doing things that were disrespectful. And it was just like, okay... You know, she doesn't know his intentions. Callum, he wants to be back with Molly. He paired up with her because he had the decision to pick any of the girls or Molly and he picked Molly. So with that being said, it's like, does Molly want to be back again with Callum or is she going to like give any of the guys a chance? Because basically almost all of the guys want to chat to Molly we know Chris is chatting to Molly while he is in a couple of Demi. He's chatting to Molly. So Kaz and Mitch are in a couple, which I'm just like, why did the public did this? But they obviously early off figured out they're just going to be mates. And I'm just like happy for that. Like they just said they're going to be friends and everything. So with that being said, Liberty likes Mitchell and Demi is speaking to Mitch. So with that being said, it's like Liberty and Kaz are having conversation. She was just like, she doesn't want to be second best because, you know, she likes Mitch, but Demi's talking to, you know, Mitch as well. And then she likes Chris, but then Chris is focusing his energy on Molly. So it's just like, she doesn't want to like be second best or whatever. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know, you know, it is what it is. You know, you feel bad for Liberty. But I feel like Mitchell and Liberty will probably work better than Demi and Mitchell. So I don't know what Demi's trying to do, but I feel like Mitch and Liberty. Now, Callum and Molly had this like open argument in front of a group about their relationship, which I feel like 
you waited until love island to really like hash out the problems in your relationship like you waited till now to really talk about okay he didn't do this he didn't do that change his behavior like he laughed in her face or whatever called her high maintenance and i'm just like you've been together since season six you broke up six months ago and it was basically not because of any of those issues but i guess he just had a lot of arguments whatever and then he did something to i guess that was disrespectful to you and then now you don't really understand if you want to be back together or not but i'm just like if those are also issues in your relationship that you're like bringing up to the forefront you should have been talking about it so like it didn't need to be you know weighing back on love island to talk about it but i guess if love island wants to be you know a dating help show and help them out because i feel like she her you know talking to chris in the last moments of the episode where chris was basically saying like okay what is it what is it about you and callum and she basically just said you know she's just trying to see his intentions like if a girl comes you know into the villa and basically like focus her energy on callum you know she's just trying to see her true intentions but i just feel like until somebody like goes all in on callum and she's gonna realize okay she likes him or not but i'm just like she already knows how she likes him but she's just waiting for somebody to like you know give the same energy that all the guys are really, really trying to give her but i feel like she's gonna you know go back with callum at one point or another like stop trying to play the charade and like act like you know you're fine with being with you know any of these other guys in this villa like you know you want to be back with callum like please just end the charade right now and then now but with that being said, that was the episode um, Chris and, um, not Chris and Demi, Chris and Molly shared a kiss on the terrace. So it is what it is. This is five weeks of All Stars. So we don't know if anything's going to shake, anything's going to happen, anything's going to boom. But it is what it is. We have a new bombshell, Joshua, from season one is coming back onto the show as a new bombshell so you see what it is also we have to talk about kaz and is it lewis louis you know kaz and that guy you know is something brewing over there something brewing because you know they just had a little nice chat but you know nothing really went anywhere but it was just a little nice chat but hopefully somebody comes in for kaz because like they really can't have my girl just being out here like that like at least Liberty's in here for her to like talk to and like really make have like a good friendship but i this this is the cast that they gave kaz like what's going on here it was kind of nice seeing kaz liberty and toby like on the little terrace talking you know because obviously they've been from the same season so they're just having a little little chat about what's going on but other than that that was episode three review recap um I might miss some reviews in between, but I'm going to try to do these daily and, you know, daily reviews on this Love Island All-Star season. Obviously, you can hear that I am under the weather, like I'm under the weather. Um, it's definitely very cold. Yeah, but I'm still out here doing these reviews for you guys. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, like the video, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns, and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.